All right. First up, the man, the myth, the legend, Saber. Second, we have a man whose name means to cool down, speed up, and to be the greatest, A.C. Raceback! Yeah! I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> And also, the guy I made backstage, Beavis! <laughs> and now, finally, the one guy I didn't meet backstage, Black Griffin! Okay, so we're going to get right into it, and for the first game, we're actually going to have a special uh, performer with us, and that is Michelle Kreber. <laughs> they didn't give you a seat. Welcome to community guest status. Hello. Okay, so for the first uh, game we're doing is actually song styles. This is unusual because we usually don't start with a musical game, but um, we're going to have uh, Black Griffin and Michelle Kreber sing about Emily Larson, and he's going to get on stage. So how song, song styles works is I'm going to give you a style of song and you have to sing about Larson and that style. Right. So that's that seems fair. It's gonna be difficult unless it sounds like wings or something. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. The style of song you have to sing you have to sing in is uh, James Brown. Oh. I, can, I can dig it. I'm totally dig it on James Brown. James Brown is He's a guy. He's Rihanna? Yeah, that's oh, good, correct. Oh, good Michelle. Rihanna. So cultured. You are. <laughs> Is that James Brown? Just take Mitch Lawson off the show. <laughs> James Brown, not James Bay. Yeah, you're all good. I got it. Okay. Got it. You got this now. Yes, yes, yes. All right. I don't think it says who's James Brown. Perfect. Yeah, because James Brown does a lot of gospel. All right.
saying change so every th every time they say a sentence they have to change what they're saying so uh you want to read the scenario okay so celestia who's race is overseeing twilight who's beavis no who's that no it's game that <laughs> they hate me and then discord who's saber organizing the library and then right. beavis is going to say change you're the change. The guy backstage. So I'm, I'm Obama. I'm change. Celestia. Yeah. I am. You're overseeing Twilight. Yeah. Uh, organizing the library. And I'm just going to help him with set of So I'm, yeah. Okay. I'm Twilight. Yeah. Okay. I'm my own waifu. Yes, you are. <laughs> I, it's not much different from my real normal life. All right, let's keep your fanfic out of this, right? No, it's really good. Sure. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Um, can I help you? I don't know how books work. Oh, that's okay. Neither do I. I just pretend. Change. I can tell you exactly how books work. I use them for all sorts of things. Sleeping, eating, you know. But what does this word say? Yep. Change. Nope. <laughs> it's Big Mac's autobiography. Yeah? It's pretty good. Oh, hey, Twilight. Discord. How's it doing my job again? It was really great to be back in the show. Yeah. Change. You know, ever since I talked to the Hasbro executive and said those things, I, you know, I haven't been on the show in a while. Change. Well, you know, I just went ahead to find myself. Now you know how I feel half the time. <laughs> and... Hi, can Maybe. I help you? Change. Hi, can I help you? Just Discord. Listen, it says TBY7. Can't you read? Change. TBMA. Please, leave Ned Stark alone. <laughs> so, how's it going, you two working together? Oh, it's a lovely internship. It's my favorite. Change. Oh, you know, you have any change? <laughs> I don't have pockets, dear. We talked about this. Oh, change. I have pockets. You keep that pocket away from me. It's a dirty pocket. So, Discord, I hope you're learning your lesson today. That's so funny, I'm actually Discord. <laughs> Discord, I hope you're learning your lesson today. Change. Discord, no, I... <laughs> Change. <Okay>. Continue. <laughs> I'm Celestia. We're all the same, you know. Wow. It's pretty exciting. This must be an M.A. Larson episode. <laughs> Oh, it's real. <laughs> so, change. Oh, and I got it in surgery. It's fake. Uh, uh, no, it's fake. No. How about we uh, discuss the lesson that you two are learning here? YouTube. YouTube. YouTube is learning. No. 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 Change. What? Yes. yes. YouTube red. Yeah, dear princess. No, I don't talk to her anymore. So what? What? Have, tell me. What have you two learned sorting the library together? Well, we got on the library computer and went to the internet. And change. Well, uh, I had to ask my parents if I can get online and use this website so I can order some zoo books. Zoo books? Yes, I have 
the Tiger Booster. It's called the Hustle, sweetheart. Change. That movie sucks. I completely agree. No, I think we're getting off topic here. How about we stick to what we're talking about? You two, don't forget why you're in detention here. Detention? What did that happen? Uh, don't you remember what happened the last time that I put you in charge of something? Yeah. yeah. Season finale. <laughs> Change. Oh, the season premiere. Season I, premiere. That was, yeah, season premiere. Amazing. This day was going to be perfect. I think both of you have learned a little bit too much from Starlight Glimmer lately. You know what I think, Twilight? We should write a letter to Celestia right now. Who's that? Shut up. Wait, wait, wait. Shh, 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 Dear Princess Celestia. Okay, got that. Change. Dear ex-lover. <laughs> what? It is I, John Delancey. I've been stuck in this body for too long. I want to go back on Star Trek. Are you writing with your hooves? No, this is... This Change. Is, yes. This is my, you know... I learned this from Pinkie Pie. Oh, God. Change. I know, it's terrifying. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Huh? Okay. Uh... Discord? Yes. You bother me. What? what? That's not nice. How could you say that? Change. Listen, Celestia. What? We're finally in an episode together. Cut off the best part! <laughs> you hear me go, and then you hear change, and then bum 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 bum. I was afraid to know okay, who should get the points. The best part. Uh, yeah. Race. What? How many points? <laughs> like forty. That's more than I'm making. That's like. <laughs> awesome. how do, wait, how do points work? They don't matter. Oh, then, then, then forty. <laughs> Drew Carey in training over here. <laughs> All right. Uh, the next game is let's make a date, and. Uh, <laughs> So we're going to have one of our uh, uh, players uh, go out of the room, and he's going to be our bachelorette. And the other three are going to be these three different personalities that we give them. So first of all, we have to have Race leave the room for a moment. Yes. It's because I'm the pretty one. <laughs> Change. I'm still the pretty one. What's a room? And here, what, is he up? Oh, no, he had a wait. Gone? Guys, he's finally gone! Woo! <laughs> Alright, so what are our parts? So we okay. game is Flash the Sloth. From Zootopia. <laughs> Me? Okay. <laughs> uh, Beavids is Donald Trump. <laughs> and okay. Saber is Starlight Glimmer. That's worse than Donald Trump. <laughs> Is she in the audience? <laughs> All right, uh, I guess we need, need him back. Yeah, I'll go find him. Can we get someone to fetch that lovely man? The lucky He's like going down to the vendor hall right now. Just leaves. <laughs> Where's it? Yeah, he's what? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so he's time for dinner. Dobia. Even better, the 26th time? Yeah. <laughs> You're the dude. Good. You might have your seats. So how many rounds do I get? How many questions? Sure. sure. Oh. <laughs> Let's say three rounds of questions. Yeah. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. Oh good. Bachelor number one. <laughs> if we were to go on a date, where would we go? Well, I was thinking about somewhere in Russia. <laughs> I know this lovely little lodge area. I was mm, actually a bunch of them. They all look the same. They're all so average. <laughs> like my love life. <laughs> you know, I like Putin. I like Putin. <laughs> Bachelor number two. What's your favorite type of food? Mexican food. Definitely Mexican food. <laughs> Be really tall on the taco bowl, otherwise 
I can't eat it. I can't. Oh, yeah, I always like to eat some good Mexican food. Bachelor number three, what is your best move? Would you like to hear a bachelor number one? Oh, me. <laughs> that guy is slower than the communist revolution. Once upon if I, uh, if I were on my deathbed, time. That's my favorite kind of bed. What would be your last words to me? Hmm, I don't know. Something from Uncle Joseph. No, 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 maybe Lennon. <clears throat> well, hold on, is this bed like a queen-size bed, a king-size? Oh, they're all the exact same. Oh, we can have two beds. We can lay on them together. They're little equal signs and everything. I love it. That way, when you're dying, I can hold your hand and then maybe go back to a quest tree, girls. What would you, or how would you, describe your workout routine? Hmm. Well, you know what they say about guys with small hands. <laughs> so, I would get my workforce to go into the gym and pick up every weight, lift them 20 times for me, pay them no money, and then call it a day. I like your style. I heard you were still looking for a Strong running mate. workforce. Means a strong business and a strong workhorse. <laughs> a strong Bachelor country. number three. Give me your best opera note. excursions. Where would you take me on a honeymoon? Well, is it during winter time? Sure. Mm -hmm. I know this lovely city. All right. Ever heard of Stalingrad? <laughs> sure. Let's go there. Okay. Bachelor number two. Yes. How would you woo me? Mm. Are we talking about after my three divorces, or...? Hmm, okay, um... I would... Hmm... This is just like the Republican think, debates. I, I think... I think I'd get you a nice toupee. I think that would really look nice on that bald spot that you have right here. I mean, it's just... It's got to You know... If I'm gonna date you, you, you want me. Wow. I'm a billionaire, so that's that's really sweet. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Bachelor number three. Blink. Are <laughs> Flash, Flash, you're good. You just, and, and the, yeah, the Flash. So is, this, is this Flash or do they have quirks too? Flat, flash the Sloth from Zootopia. Flash yeah. the. Oh, I thought it was Flash Gordon. Yeah. 
No, you were moving a little bit too quick for that. That was Adobe Flash. All your Flash things, you have to get hit upside the head by Twilight. So I have to guess that Bachelor number two is in some way related to, or is, King Sombra? Wow. Shows where the writers get their inspiration from. Okay. No. Oh, Donald Trump. <laughs> Trump, Trumped you. Trumped you again. Wait, no, what's the difference between the two? Okay, so, uh, Bachelor number one, Starlight Glimmer? Sunset Show. Sh no, Starlight Show. Sh no, Sunset Glimmer. You're gonna say a bad word. One of those. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, 100 points to Dave. Thank you. Okay. okay. We have another musical, uh... <gasps> Thing here is called Three Headed Broadway Star. Uh, it's only three of these. So I think this is the first time we've done this, at least at BernieCon. Yeah. And uh, it's going to have three of our performers. It's going to have Gabe, Race, and Beavis, and they're going to hold each other by the arms, where they make three heads. And just like prom this. night. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to have to sing one word at a time. So this right, should be okay. okay. And I think yeah. we need Mr. Basic back on stage for this one. Where's Nathaniel? Basic? There he is. There he is. Oh, wow. Hi. Go on, you Tuskies. Guys. Get comfy and cool. What's the Were we told okay. the topic, by the way? Yeah, the topic, the first topic, is fan fictions. Shun. That's a syllable. <laughs> That's a syllable. One word. Here we go, fan. Fiction is my favorite thing to write when I am dead. Fan fiction is my worst nightmare. say whatever they want, but two of the performers can only say two lines. It's like being pulled over by the cops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so Saber can say whatever he wants, and then uh, Gabe, and, uh, Gabe and Race can only say two lines. Um, and the scenario is, Applejack has Sweetie Belle help with chores at the farm. And uh, Saber is Applejack, uh, Race is Apple Bloom. And he can only say, I hate apples. And what is that? And Gabe is Sweetie Belle. And he can only say, I'm Sweetie Belle. And are you sure? <laughs> oh, 
All right, you young fillies. Time to go get your chores done. Follow me this way. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Follow me this way. All right, this is the heart of our farm. A tree. Are you sure? <laughs> well, Poopy Fluttershy. <laughs> but, uh, who knows? Uh, but I need you to bucket. I hate apples. <laughs> Sorry. What? I hate apples. You're not one of my blood. <laughs> I'm Sweetie Belle. Get out! I hate apples. Shut up. We're gonna cure you once and for all. Bucket that tree. Harder! Harder! <sighs> what about you? I'm Sweetie Belle. <laughs> well, we already put you to work, so go buck that tree. Are you sure? I'm sure. Go buck that tree. Are you? Buck, buck that tree. I'm, right now! I'm Sweetie Belle. What is that? You can't just ask a unicorn what that is. <laughs> are you We're, sure? We are lonely earth ponies. It's just an honor to be around them. Now go buck that tree. I'm Sweetie Belle. Buck that tree. I'm Sweetie Belle. Buck that tree. I'm, are you sure? I, I, I hate apples. If you say that again, I will back with you. What is that? This! Sweetie Belle, get over here! Ah! Are you sure? I'm <sighs> okay. Next. Sweetie Belle! I'm Sweetie Belle. Shut up. All right. Now it's time to raise a barn. What is that? Are you sure? It's a barn. W what is that? It's, I'm Sweetie Belle. I hate apple. Are you sure? Uh, it's not apple wood. It's you know, just oak. I hate apple. Yeah, shut up. All right. So the most important thing about building barns is taking these pliers. Not pliers. What are you trying to draw? What is that? It's, uh, it's a good question. I don't know. Planks! Planks of wood. All right, now All go right. ahead and lift them up. I need both of you to lift that plank of wood up. No, use your hands. You, I mean, who's... <laughs> what is that? What is that? Sorry, a little bit of a leak in the matrix. <laughs> All right, pick that up with your hooves. Are, are, you, yeah. are, are you sure? I'm positive. Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> lift it up. What are you doing? It's, it's not a seesaw. Lift it up. Lift it up. I hate apples. Shut up. Move it over there. All right. It's sweetie bone. What is that? I'm Sweetie Belle. What is that? Are you sure? I hate apples. I'm Sweetie Belle. All right, lay the wood down. I hate apples. Uh, All right, into town we go. Come on, we gotta go sell some apples. What is that? Over here. Come, Sweetie Belle, come on. What I'm is Sweetie Belle. I'm gonna have to get a leash for you two. Come on. What is that? That's Celestia. Come on. Come on. for eating whatever that was. <laughs> it's a mystery. Hey, I'm it off. It off. <laughs> it's a Skittle. <laughs> it served what is that? <laughs> it was a Skittle. <laughs> okay, okay um, our next game is uh, going to be Director's Cuts. It should be better than the Director's Cut of Batman and Superman, don't <laughs> What do you mean, should? <laughs> Apparently Superman's in the audience. <laughs> That's okay, terrible. so this uh, is going to involve all four of you, um, but uh, Vivids is going to be the director that will jump in and say what genre he wants the, uh, the scene to play out as. All right, so uh, the scene is going to be the Camelot Wedding, where uh, Twilight is exposing Cadence as Chrysalis to Shining Armor. So Race is going to be Twilight, uh, Gabe is going to be Shining Armor, and then Saber is going to be uh, Chrysalis, or Cadence then didn't reveal to be Chrysalis. Okay, and one more time for the scenario, what was it again? Um, the Candlelight Wedding, Twilight is exposing Cadence as Chrysalis. Okay. I'm all high at this point, right? Depends on what was in that pill you ate. <laughs> Shining armor. Shining armor? Yes. 
Yes. Oh, Shining, come over here. Come over here. Wait. And let's come. Wait. No. Wait. What? Can you see it? I don't see anything. She's clearly evil. No, I'm not. Yes, you. Yes. No, I'm not. What? I am not. She's, no, don't listen to her. I, no, no, you leave sister. my husband yeah, out of this. Right? Get away. Sister. No, yeah, I don't tell really her to leave. Okay. Tell her to leave. Go away. She doesn't truly love you. Go away. I love him. Evil is He's not mine. Hey. What's his favorite? Food. It's a trick question. He doesn't eat food. Dang. <laughs> He's right. What do you say about that, Twilight Spurgle? I hate you. What was that? Okay, stop, stop. This needs to be a romantic comedy. Romantic comedy. You guys Gotta put some start it up. Okay. Okay. I want it to be in the style of not dub. And it's a romantic comedy. Sick. It's a romantic comedy, so action. <laughs> hey, look, what? You can't have her. Why not? She's yes, my she's everything. Me. She's my all. She is everything to me. I love her so much, she's the best. I'm Adam Sandler wearing cargo shorts. <laughs> you can't have Adam. Why? Why? Why not? Why can't I? I want Adam. Adam. Have Adam. Is mine. What? <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Yeah. Comedy. Comedy. Who's gonna be mine? Uh, that all depends. We have to hit the low point of the romantic comedy, yeah. and then we come right back. And then we find out that it's kind of a Cersei Lannister thing. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, okay. You gave me, you gave me inspiration. Okay. We're gonna have to change That's it first. to an action drama, like in the style of Lord of the Rings. So I want you to think castles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I got it. I got it. I know. I'm good. Okay. I got it. Mando said action. My process. <laughs> There were nine boyfriends. One belonged to me. And only I can destroy him. Oh! <laughs> that was supposed to be a winning. <laughs> you can't do this. Get away from me, Gandalf the White. Uh, mm. Yes. Come to me, both of you bad people. It's Saruman! Weren't you guys getting married at one point? Now we don't do that in Middle Earth. Oh. This is more of an open relationship kind of place. Oh, yes. No, okay, cut, cut. Okay. Now I want you... God, you're terrible actors to work with, but anyways... Take him like Shyamalan. Take him. The Fellowship of the Change. That's Michael Payne, you, sir. Okay, um, I'm thinking... What about Armageddon? Forrest Gump. Oh, okay. It's a love story, you can make it work, and action! Don't run, Forrest! Don't run! Life is like a box of changelings. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna see? Right, because they always change link. Get, get away! We have all kinds of villains. We got coconut villains, fried villains, mm. sauteed. Mm. Can you change into someone without legs? I'd like your life better than them. Okay. Ah, oh, no, turn that down! <laughs> Hold on, what? I have an idea. I do too. Who's getting married again? Yep. I got new legs. <laughs> Same oh. stuff that make the shot. Oh. <laughs> okay, take five, but honestly, here, okay. We're gonna go with sci-fi thriller, Independence Day. Independence Day. The new one? Uh, if it's got Jeff Goldblum in, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. I love her. I'm sorry. No, no, no. We need to give her the pilot! Release me! I say, I got a nice love. Darling, I love my love. I will. I just let go of this. Wait, right behind the ear? Ooh. You put some water on your hand right here, and it goes that way. It's not easy, I say. <laughs> okay, cut, cut. You know what? We're not gonna do live action anymore. We're gonna do an animated film. I want you to do this in the style of Zootopia. Come on, make that work. Uh, we'll just, we'll get all the lines taken care of after.
character just, uh, you know, method acting, or make it work. Action. <laughs> I can't drive. That's all I can write someone up for, actually. <laughs> you messed with the wrong... Rabbit? Fox? Pony? He's the fox. Fox. You oh, messed with fox. the wrong... Oh! Because this... My fox. My foxy fox. Your foxy fox? Yeah, foxy fox. I kind of like your foxy fox. Like that. Rabbits, rabbits. There's enough fox to go around. <laughs> Darn right. We can't multiply. But I think this fox is a changeling. What? What the heck is a changeling? I don't... <laughs> oh my blood, god! Blood! 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 And... <laughs> 20 for game, 10 for ace, 5 for speed. If anyone's keeping track. I think I broke my leg. <laughs> I, I it works, Did that. All right, the next one is the title game, Who's Lion? Or, or Who's Lion? Yeah, or Who's Lion. Who's Lion. Yeah, that, that's what it's called. Yeah. Um, I cringe every time. So this is Lion. only going to involve uh, two of our performers, and we have two envelopes here with lines that were suggested online. And uh, this is actually going to be interesting. Because uh, the scene is going to be Nick and Judy from Zootopia accidentally stumble into Baltimore. And Saber is going to be Nick, Race is going to be Judy. And here are your lines. This is a cautionary tale about why you shouldn't leave Harbor Place this weekend. We also like to throw out a quick thank you. A couple of our friends had uh, a part in this, including you, Hiro Snashi, and my girlfriend at home. So, and to all the people who uh, submitted. Yes, yeah, submit. Thank you so much. All right. It's, so Judy's the rabbit, right? No one knows. No one's watched it. <laughs> all right. Well, the train's just arriving. You can hear the. Signature song about to end right now. Oh, I don't hear anything. We're talking about you. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Is this sound effects? I don't know. That was just a jet fighter. Uh -oh. All right, well, let's get off. So this is Baltimore. Huh? Oh wait, there's a street sign right here. It says, "You're no better than your friends." <laughs> the charming be, city. They must be talking to you. Well, that's really nice, Judy. Well, you know what? Um, <clears throat> I think we need to go out and get something to eat. How about that? I'm starved. Do you want to eat over there? Remember what you said on the bus? You said, finding Dory is better than Zootopia. <laughs> Pretty meta. But rabbits don't eat fish. Not yet. <laughs> well, all right, well, you know. I'm just really parched. Can we find some water somewhere? Oh, let's head, uh, let's head this way. Okay. You know, the last time we looked for water, don't forget. What? What I had to tell you. What'd you tell me? Try everything. <laughs> that hurt last time. <laughs> it was supposed to. Yeah, well, you know, this is a really nice city. You know, my friend told me, if you're in Baltimore, the most important thing to remember is justice reigns from above. <laughs> Is doing up there. Yeah. That explains the police chopper. Oh, right. See, I thought the spotlight was for a concert. <laughs> no. Justin Bieber left yesterday. <laughs> Wait, what? The, the chopper's saying something. What's it saying to you? I, I, I hear him. My ears are really good. He says, You are worst pony. <laughs> I'm not feeling very welcomed in this city. Oh, this is hurtful. This is, this is a new feeling. I didn't know what to think. I'm gonna march up to the mayor of Baltimore, look them right in the face, and scream, I haven't showered all weekend! <laughs> I'll get right into the Brony Convention. <laughs> um, see there. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe if we were to talk to the mayor, maybe we can, you know, help them see things from Zootopia's side. After all, you know, we're so welcoming. 
I, you know what? You know what I would tell them? What would you tell them? I, I'd look the mayor right in the eye and I'd say, I'm your biggest fan. I'll follow you until you love me. <laughs> That's pretty insistent. I think you might get some results. Then again, you are a giant talking rabbit. I'm a giant talking fox. It might scare them. Multiplying is my specialty. I didn't ask about that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, you know what? Forget it. You know, this is our honeymoon. It's just great to be here. <gasps> it is? It is. I ship it. I do too. Oh. You know, Judy, yes, Nick. I remember when I first saw you, my heart was a flutter, and the words danced across my mind. Never has my flapper been so completely gasted. <laughs> You know, Nick, just in case anyone is listening, this is a PG panel. Oh, just like the movie. <laughs> yes. You know, one thing that I've always heard about Baltimore, what? It's that it's still not as bad as Utopia. <laughs> I completely agree. I mean, who likes that movie? I read the reviews for it. it I think they were talking about the city, do you No, no, the movie really sucks. I remember going online, reading reviews. One review said, oops, I did it again. <laughs> that was John Lasseter talking about his failure with cars. Oh. Sorry, John. You know, John, remember he gave you that little critique in the movie? What did he say? Well, he told you that you pulled out way too many cards just now. Oh. And then he also said, I sold my candy for a plush. Well, John's a big fan of merchandise, you know? Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, no, we totally gotta get some silver ears before we go back to Zootopia. Some what? Silver ears. You're right. You know what? I wanna get a nice, like, framed picture and hang it over our fireplace, and that picture's gonna say in bold caption, I'll have what she's having. Ah, <laughs> uh, the motto of Baltimore. Yes, and we can't forget the true motto of Baltimore. What? Oh, I thought that was the true motto. Well, no, see, see the sign right there? The one on the ground? Yeah. Yeah, the one that says right next to it. If I was to pick one person in the world to reattach my head, I'd pick you. <laughs> it's really a sweet city. Judy, I love you. I've been waiting all day to say this to you. Judy? Look, you're really cute, but I can't understand what you're saying. <laughs> said to me. You know, it was so funny. I thought you were about to propose while we were on our honeymoon. No. <laughs> that would have been a little confusing, wouldn't it? Just a tad. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, you know, one of the things I'll always love about you. What's that, Jimmy? It's that I think you're cool, but I don't like Coca-Cola. What's Coca-Cola? It's an amazing thing. It is, yeah. You know what else is amazing? What? I'll tell you right now, these words that are dancing across my mind. Flubber is the best movie of all time. <laughs> you, you've said that before, but you know what I honestly got to say? What? Wait. What? Oh my gosh, it's the cops. Oh, this is Baltimore. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be able to talk with them after all being a cop. Well, talk to them. They're, they're, they're hailing you right now. Tell them, tell them something. Hey, what's that? Oh, don't worry. That's not supposed to go there. <laughs> I took care of it. They are Baltimore cops. They're still looking at you. Now, let me clear this up. Officer, officer, listen, all right? I am a horse. <laughs> Nick, don't lie to the cops. I'm a horse. I don't Nick, clears it up. Nick, what? what? Nick, it's clear that you're a fox. <laughs> we'll put them at ease, right? No, you know what would put me at ease right now? What's that? <laughs> Can you feel the love tonight? And that was my last card. I love you. I love these crossovers. And I know I joked about it before, but Judy, I truly mean this. I hate when people ask me about things I didn't pay attention to. <laughs> So now we know what the sequel is going to be like. Another blockbuster. I believe in humanity again. <laughs> but we're animals. Yeah, well, Lover really is the best movie of all time. <laughs>
All right. Our next game is uh, Tap and Go. And this is sort of a variant on Dead Bodies. So it's going to involve all four of you. And Gabe and Vivids are going to be basically mannequins. And they can't move, but they can talk to each other. This should be freaky. And <laughs> Race will be able to move Vivids. And um, a saber will be moving Gabe. So when they tap your, uh, your feet, you have to move your feet. And then when like, they move your arms and your head, so just so, like that. So freaky. Yeah. Freaky. Do we, but not like too freaky, up. like CG freaky. We sit down? No, you, you gotta stand, stand up. up. Oh, stand up. Yeah. So, so, so Gabe, you're, you're you're like so when I tap your leg, your leg goes like that. When I tap your leg, your leg goes like that. And yeah. we'll fill in the rest. Do we? All right. Of the mics. Jim, you want to go over the scenario? Okay. So Twilight, who's Beavids, is facing off with Tyrion. Tyrion, Gabe, trying to stop him from blowing up another library. <laughs> You've destroyed knowledge for the last time. <laughs> I'm defenseless against you, apparently. You strange goat being, I've never... Ah! <laughs> oh my god, you're too powerful. I have to... I have to gain the elements from my friends. Maybe then we'll finally be able to beat you. <laughs> oh my god, I think I've got an edge here. This is the same kind of fighting I do with my girlfriend. <laughs> How did you get a girlfriend? All I have is my books. You know, I use my magic sucking power. <laughs> Teach me your ways, Tyrion. There's only one way I'll be able to defeat you. I have to combine the elements of harmony. <laughs> Voltron conform together. Oh, I forgot you are part of this. How I've been foiled that we must bust. We must. This makes things difficult for both of us. You've taken me down to one knee. Truly, no one goes to libraries anymore. I'm doing the world a favor. Your one weakness. <laughs> when I a solid it. uppercut. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I'm now pointing at you. I knew that would work. You died. <laughs> this is my power stance. It's a lot less painful than my other power stance. <laughs> Well, this fight is really fast-paced. <laughs> I keep shooting laser beams at you, but they do nothing. Apparently my aim is as good as a stormtrooper's. <laughs> what is a stormtrooper? <laughs> You're empty. <laughs> from the Matrix. Oh, God. You figured it out. I did. My horn. Who's pulling the trigger only first? Only has six shots. <laughs> I got the first real six shot. Do you feel lucky, punk? <laughs> I'm feeling something else. I'm Neo. Oh! I'm the one! I am the one! Are you, are you okay, okay Saber? like a brony pie. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll give points to like uh, Gabe and Vivids for like <laughs> just piling on Saber. I'll give, I'll give them 100 points each. Just like last night. <laughs> Alright. Next game is Seats from Ahead. I think we're going to have Michelle Creeper join us again yes. for this one. So Michelle, come on up! Unfortunately, we didn't have a hand, so we have an envelope. Sorry, we don't. So, it's, have so it seems from an envelope. Does anybody have a hat? Oh my gosh! Who, who has like a no? I think we're giving a hat. Like, not just a baseball hat, like something oh. really cool. I mean, they maybe like a fedora. Look at that! 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 Darren Jew's hat. It's here for Darren Jew. Now it's official. This is a nice hat, thank you. <laughs> Can't keep it. <laughs> no, no offense to anyone else's hat though, sorry. 
Sorry. You guys having fun? Alright. You all ready? Yes. No? Alright. Okay, the first one is the reason Discord is absent from season six. I got a real job on Star Trek! Do I? Oh, it was, uh, thing, things you can say about your significant other, but not a cosplayer. <laughs> I like that tattoo on your butt. Is that horn real? How did you get so much hair there? Put your mask back on. <laughs> All right, what's really under Saber Sparks beard? A cease and desist order, damn ass bro. It's Narnia! The lost city of Atlantis. All right. Yesterday's dinner. <laughs> Another chin. <laughs> okay. Rejected episode ideas. This is the part where we all have ideas that just won't fly. <laughs> Twilight has wings now. Uh. Let's go to the brownie convention! <laughs> Let's run away from the brownie convention! <laughs> Alright, if MLP characters were on Jerry Springer. Mrs. Cake, I'm not the baby daddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wasn't even in the same state. Uh, I'm not really a man. I'm a horse. <laughs> Are you the father? Nope. Okay. If Starlight Glimmer meant Sunset Shimmer. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> All right. Ponies at a college house party. Dating advice, oh, go ahead. Go for it, I probably should actually. <laughs> now you're in trouble. This bathroom's got a horn cleaner. <laughs> for shame. Shame, for shame. Because they're horses. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> okay. Take it off. Uh, dating advice from Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> Chapter one. <laughs> it's a horn cleaner. <laughs> like my mama always used to say, don't. Dear Princess Lestia, why aren't you writing back? Well, you know, turn into a human and fall in love with a human even though you're still a horse. What? That's not weird. Have, have you read Fifty Shades of Hay? Have you? Alright, deleted interview scenes from the Saddle Row review. 
From the this what? is the Parks and Rec episode. Pass. Beep. <laughs> All right. Uh, what Luna saw in Saber Sparks' dream, dream last night? I didn't think that much cheese could fit in one man. Why are Henry and Gabe on top of them? Why aren't Gabe and Henry on top of him? <laughs> All right, wait, what? wait, wait. Oh. maybe one day I'll actually be successful. <laughs> oh, you're mean. <laughs> All right, uh, what the background ponies are really thinking. Next. Okay. Things Caden said while giving birth. You know, I've uh, been going to these conventions for a while, 
But as Amy Larson, I've never actually met one of you before. <laughs> huh. No wonder why you're a background pony. I'm, I'm just a Sharpie collector, thank you. <laughs> oh, man. It is a good thing we don't see your face on the show. Voice actor, huh? So you're not really an actor then, huh? There's a lot of voice actors in the audience. <laughs> How would AC Race Best leave the fandom? how bad my friends were. Celestia on Undercover Boss. You know, I think Celestia is fantastic. She's totally shredded. Watch Star Wars. You know, posing as a cake maker, I just get to eat all these sweets, and then if anyone finds out, I kill them. <laughs> The sun hasn't come up for a while, has it? Oh, that's, that's weird. I'm just gonna step outside real quick. <laughs> what, I guess she did. You know, after watching the MLP riders at work, you know, all they do, especially that Larson guy, is drink and drink and drink and drink and drink, eat some nachos and go home. I think I'm gonna fire him. Anything else? Uh, this is the last one. Inspirational quotes from King Sombra. <laughs> North Korea is best. Oh, uh, Crystal Empire is best empire. <laughs> it's the horn. That's it. That's it? Yeah. Right. All right. Yeah. I was, I still see. All right, I think we have time for one more game. What game is that, Paleo Stino? Irish drinking song. All right, we can do like two rounds. Okay. So, first round, uh, can we try to get a audience suggestion? Yes, and then I'll go second. So yelling? Yeah. Yelling's a suggestion? Zootopia? So do we have a decision, hosts? What's it gonna be? I keep hearing Zootopia, Zootopia. Yeah, let's do Zootopia. Zootopia. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Zootopia. Can I something about Zootopia? Oh. I watched an intro. 
acting movie in Wisconsin Topia. It was so awesome. It had animals in it. I like that rabbit. Kinda sexy. And there is the fox. He's 62. Oh, oh. I watched it 25 times. And it got better. I went bankrupt. It was a single pile of turds. Kinda like a little pony. Yep. And that's when I went back to the What the heck just happened? I screwed it up. Yes, you did. You really kinda suck. But the movie's great. No, it isn't. I give it a one out of ten. Yep. Oh, I I went to see it one more. I saw it 25 times. 26 times with that one more time. I could make it rhyme. If I went one more. I think I'll throw up. Throw up lots. What the? So one more thing. Alright, let's do another round and have and Michelle Fever in. Yep, Michelle is up for this one. Get up here, Michelle. Okay. Alright. Suggestion? I heard Larson. I heard Larson. 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 There you go. Larson. Larson? Yeah. Larson. All righty then. A classic. Oh, I know a writer. His hair looks like a mop. <laughs> He's really greasy. Kind of like a turd. Man, I really like this guy. You are all nerds. Oh, I he signed my freaking arm. What a jerk. He really, really needs to get a job. And he's a perp. I want to have a What is a perp? I really don't know what's happened. ding a ding a dirt. Oh, I He is a writer. Yeah, okay. He doesn't write for the show, though. He stole it from Wikipedia. Wow, that's terrible. <laughs> Good rhyme, game. Yeah, good job, dude. You are lame. Oh, oh, it's my turn to start now. Absolutely is. You're hilarious, my friend. Larson took a quiz. Thank God this is the last turn. Thank God. Beautiful song. Are you familiar with that one at all? For a reminder, I think the last time we did this was yeah. what two years? Ago? It's been a while. It's been a while. Yes. If it, does anyone remember the ice cold water guy song? He's not here. That, He's not here, is he? Is He's he outside. Yeah, He's water. I have seen him, but I've been avoiding outside. No, I never saw him. We've got three minutes. Let's have a beautiful song, Nathaniel. Drop the music. <laughs> Drop the video. Let's get the boogie going. Oh, that would be helpful. Decide, decide among yourselves. Same thing. How about fangirls that are pandas? Panda fangirls. All right. Fangirls. It always happens. Just classic. Yes. It's a classic very, very topic. Very common. The 
Amanda looks at me and says, Are you the most powerful bull? Black and white, what a fright. Not just a panda, but a fan girl. Be careful, they will tear up your heart and make it hurl. And a I saw her with a neck roll. I said, hey, what's up, panda girl? Drive safe.